Today you're gonna learn toka. By using this phrase, it will get you very close to how native Japanese speak. Toka, you use it when you describe some multiple activities or things. It's it's different from and, which is to. Toka, you just choose two or three things of many things. If I were to describe a music taste. Let's say if I say I like Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart, and among others. Bach, toka, Beethoven, toka, Mozart, ga ki desu. Bach, ha, Bach, toka, here, Beethoven, Beethoven, toka, Mozart, ga ski desu. So it's exactly the same rule as to in terms of placement. You place to in between each word. This means I like Bach. Beethoven, Mozart, and so on. Now, this is a noun, right? Noun, 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 just noun, toka. You can use toka for verb too. Ongaku wo kiku toka, hon wo yomu toka, shiteimasu. Ongaku wo kiku toka, hon wo yomu toka, shiteimasu. Ongaku wo kiku, ongaku, music, kiku, listen to, toka here, hon wo yomu. Book, yomu, read, toka, shemas. It's a response to maybe what do you do on the weekend? And I would say, oh, I listen to music and read books and so on. I do such things as music, listen to, book, read, and so on. You can make sure these are short forms of verb, dictionary forms. If you don't know what dictionary forms are, I'll include a list of dictionary forms as well as must form. Which is slightly more formal version of verb. We have formality in our verb. It's really important to know the conjugation, the short form, which is dictionary form, and must form, which is longer form. Because just like this one, you need to know the short form of a verb to conjugate something. All right, kikimas is a must form of this one. Yomimas is a must form of yomu. I will make a whole different video about this one if you want me to. Just let me in the comment section below. I say this often when someone's tired. I would say if you're tired, why don't you do some things like go to sleep early or、uh, take a hot bath. Kareta toki wa when you're tired. Neru toka si neru sleep toka ofuro ni hairu toka shite kareta toki wa when you're tired. Neru sleeping. Toka and ofuro. Ofuro means bath. Ofuro ni hairu is to take a bath. Ofuro ni hairu toka shite do. Please do such things like sleeping or taking a hot bath when you're tired. Now shite is a te form, making it a request to do something. So I'm asking you to sleep or、uh, take a bath. Do things like these. If you want to learn about te form, it's up right here. It's really important that you know their form, so I really, I really recommend that you check them out, check that video out. It is important for conjugation and making requests and so on, asking for permission and so on. Now, these are, I would say, the standard way of saying using toka. There are some things that I have to worry about once you reach twenty, right? When you're in twenties, 20 nijū dai no toki ni, right? Nijū dai twenties toki. When kangaeru koto, kangaeru is to think koto, things, things think about when you're in your twenties, right? Wa as for this, kekon toka, it's a marriage, right? Kekon is marriage. Okane toka, money, shigoto, shigoto des work. When you're in twenties, things we think about is marriage, money, work, and so on. Now you get the idea. Marriage, money. Work. These are all nouns, so you don't have to change anything. In sentences like this, I always end it like this. But we can end it with toka. When someone asks you, "What's your ideal partner? Who's your ideal partner?" and you can list something like kao toka, kao toka, maybe face. So toka is used as like maybe, maybe something like something like face. Ah,、uh, karada toka. Karada means body. So is that person fit? Is that person healthy, attractive, sexually attractive? Those things you can use this as a response, right? You use this toka when you're not sure about the idea of something. Who's your favorite?、Uh, who's your ideal character? Who's your ideal partner? What do you look for in a partner? You can just say kao toka, karada toka, okane toka, maybe money. Sometimes you don't want to sound overly confident. About something, it's the face. You don't want to sound like that. When you don't want to sound like that, you can use toka to say like like something. Yeah, toka 
overall mean something like this bonus we use toka if you put anger to it it means you don't like the word that the person said so if someone says it's all for you anata no tame desu anata no tame desu right for you and if you don't like that word anata no tame you can say <laughs> anata no tame toka anata no tame toka by using toka at the end of a quote you're expressing disgust and unpleasant feelings towards this word whatever the person said to you you're like disgusted or you you feel pathetic you find it pathetic anata no tame toka that's absurd this is a slang and you might hear it in a song if you listen to someone like aimyeon aimyeon is a singer songwriter she makes a great music and if you are into acoustic guitar singer songwriter with some rock vibe to it I think you like her. And her lyrics are relatively easy to understand compared to other bands or musicians because Japanese songs tend to be very poetic, but this Ainyun songs are straightforward. So if you're into Japanese songs and if you want to learn Japanese through songs, I recommend her. And she may be using Toka a lot because she finds the uh, ex boyfriend's word very absurd. Anyway. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share this video with people who want to learn Japanese. That would help them and help me a lot. And if you want to learn from me privately, one on one, I'll have a link in the description below. You can check it out. I、uh, will see you in the next one. Until next time.